Welcome back to the channel, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Today we're going to look at the AFV Club M113A1 in 135th scale. So as you can see, the model is moving along nicely. I've installed some of the interior bulkheads and there was a bit of warping at the bottom uh, plate of the hull. And once I was able to dry fit and work these uh, interior bulkheads in, I managed to get that warp out. Uh, this section here did require quite a bit of super glue to make sure that the bond was fairly strong. Overall, the kit is coming together nicely. I'm planning on doing a full interior minus the engine compartment. The interior details will be scratch built and the vehicle will be supplied with stowage from uh, two sets of Verlinden products. This attachment point here I left loose in case I needed to adjust the width of the walls. I don't actually plan on attaching it securely. Getting the floor to fit right was a bit of a concern. It seemed to be quite a bit snug and was starting to bend. So I worked it down, dry fit, and made sure that the floor panel was nice and even along all sides. This shelf for the radio uh, contained uh, two seams, and as you can see, I filled them in. After doing some research and asking some questions on some Facebook pages, I found that the seams needed to be filled. So I took care of those with some Tamiya putty. The plan is to have some of the hatches open as well as the, the back ramp opened up. There's a seam here that required some filling, so I added some Perfect Plastic Putty, which is water soluble. Here are some of the other panels. Many of these had pen marks that would be visible. I do recommend dry fitting these panels just to see how many of the pen marks are visible. Sanding away or filling pen marks is a necessary step for any modeler attempting to create realism, so knowing how to deal with them is an important skill for modelers. Most of the time they can be simply filled with putty. Just be aware that putty does have a tendency to shrink once dried, so you may have to fill it a couple of times in order for it to be properly filled. Another method to remove pin marks uh, is to scrape them gently with a scalpel, removing any plastic that is forming the edge of the circle, thus removing the impression of a pin mark. Well, that does it for now. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to follow the progress of this build.